Hello everyone, Icecool Tech here. Now we're going to be taking a look at how the iPhone 7 handles iOS 14 Developer Beta 1. Before we get into the video, as always, if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure that, that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with more content just like this. Every subscriber truly does mean a lot. Anyways, let's get straight into the video iOS 14 Developer Beta 1 released right after Apple's WWDC 20 event last Monday. iOS 14 brings many new features such as widgets on the home screen, an app library, app clips, and the ability to hide one or more pages on the home screen, and so much more. iOS 14 also brings a variety of long-awaited general user interface changes. We now have an unobtrusive call bar and a completely redesigned and unobtrusive Siri, and of course all new widget page design and even more. Now performance while on iOS 14 has been great on my iPhone 7. Performance is about the same as iOS 13, which already performed just fine. All day-to-day -day tasks such as launching apps, loading web pages, etc. all perform without any issues. Animations have also been great on iOS 14. I haven't noticed any major lag or stuttering, which is great. Now I haven't noticed any missing unlock animations either, which is really awesome. Now I have noticed some animation differences, however, in iOS 14, notification banners have a slightly slower and bouncier animation, and folders have a slower, smoother animation. Now RAM management has also been okay for the most part. I've noticed that it'll have some more app reload than in iOS 13, but this could be due to the widgets as they are RAM dependent. Other than some reloads here and there, iOS 14 has been pretty good with RAM management on my iPhone 7. Battery life on my iPhone 7 has been the exact same as iOS 13, believe it or not. Now I should take a second to mention that my iPhone 7 is running off of a maximum battery capacity of 93% and has never had a restart. This means that my iPhone 7 is not being performance throttled to maintain battery life and prevent restarts. Now while running iOS 14, I have had no major battery drain compared to iOS 13. Now I still recommend carrying around an extra charger or using a battery case as you may need to charge the iPhone a little throughout the day. Now standby time has been seeing slightly bigger drain but nothing too major compared to iOS 13. My iPhone 7 will drain about 8-12% to while on standby time overnight. Now this isn't the best but considering that this is the first developer beta of iOS 14, it's not horrible. Now I've also noticed some light overheating on my iPhone 7 even when just sitting on the home screen. The overheating is still present on beta 1 as it was on iOS 13, but at the same time it's still too early to tell for sure. Now we could see this issue fixed in a later iOS 14 beta. Well, if you're on an earlier version of iOS 13 and you don't mind installing beta software, then I'd say there's really no reason not to as iOS 14 is incredibly stable for a first beta release. If you're on iOS 13 or older and don't really want to install beta software, then I'd say I would wait for the full release later this fall. Now if you're on iOS 12 or earlier, that is completely up to you. I personally do not recommend it as iOS 12 and earlier are so much more stable, reliable, better battery and less overheating than iOS 13 and later. Now of course I'll keep you all updated on overheating and battery drain on iOS 14 for the iPhone 7 as I know it's a very, very annoying issue for many. Overall, Beta 1 has been very stable on my iPhone 7. Performance animations have been just fine and RAM management has only seen a smaller hit. Battery hasn't gotten too much worse and overheating is still an ongoing issue. Now, as always, if you do have any questions or you'd just like to say hi, definitely make sure to leave a comment down below and of course I'll see it. All right, everyone, that's all I have for this video. Now, if you did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot and it's extremely appreciated. Don't forget to check out the iSchool Tech official Discord, link in the description down below as always. And also make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description below. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.